The Pale Lady first appears as a harbinger of doom in the book Scary Stories 3, published in 1991. In the 2019 film, however, she is a monster that eats humans. In the movie, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Chuck attempts to find a way out of the hospital, but the Pale Lady simultaneously appears in every hallway he enters. Panicked, Chuck attempts to open doors to various rooms while yelling for help, only to realize the Pale Lady is getting closer. She eventually corners Chuck, hugging him tightly, squeezing and absorbing him into her body, killing him just before she mysteriously vanishes. Why did the Pale Lady transform from a helpful familiar demon in the books to a cold-blooded man-eating monster in the movies? To understand this, we need to delve into her origins. Scary Stories 3, More Tales to Chill Your Bones is the third and final book in Alvin Schwartz's series with illustrations by Stephen Gamble. First published in 1991, this book contains 25 short stories divided into six chapters. In the book, the Pale Lady appears in a story titled The Dream. Lucy Morgan dreams of the Pale Lady entering her room and leaning over her bed. The Pale Lady whispers to Lucy, warning her that the place she is in is dangerous and that she should escape while she still can. Later, the Pale Lady physically appears at Lucy's doorstep prompting Lucy to grab her belongings and flee. The Pale Lady is depicted as an ominous yet somewhat protective figure in this story, serving as a harbinger of doom, but also providing a warning to those in danger. Her appearance is characterized by pale white skin, long black hair, and an eerie presence that invokes both fear and urgency. This duality in her nature adds to the mystery and intrigue surrounding her character. In the film, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, the Pale Lady first appears in Chuck Steinberg's dream, warning him to escape the place he is in while he still can. Chuck shares this unsettling dream with his friends, Stella and Ramon, while visiting Louise Baptiste's home, fearing that Sarah Bellows will use the Pale Lady against him. The Pale Lady eventually confronts Chuck as he wanders through Penhurst Hospital, desperately seeking an exit. Chuck finds the Pale Lady appearing in every hallway he enters, inexplicably stalking him through multiple corridors. Overcome with panic, Chuck dashes through the hallways, frantically trying to open doors and calling for help. But the Pale Lady relentlessly closes in on him. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like it. Doctor. What is it, Doctor? I'm fine. Get the t-shirt. She finally corners him enveloping him in a tight embrace, squeezing and absorbing him into her body, killing him just before mysteriously disappearing. The absorption of Chuck by the Pale Lady can be interpreted as a powerful metaphor for the inescapable nature of fear and the consuming power of guilt or unresolved trauma. This act of absorption symbolizes how these intense emotions can overwhelm an individual, leaving no room for escape. It illustrates the idea that trying to run from one's fears only makes them more pervasive, ultimately leading to a confrontation where the fear completely envelops and consumes the person. This terrifying process highlights the futility of avoidance and the necessity of facing one's inner demons head on to prevent them from taking over entirely. The film adaptation portrays the Pale Lady as a far more sinister and deadly entity. Her transformation into a monstrous figure that actively hunts and consumes her victims adds a layer of horror that is visually and emotionally impactful for the audience. This depiction contrasts sharply with her role in the book, where she is more of a spectral guide, providing cryptic warnings rather than posing a direct physical threat. So why did the Pale Lady warn in the books but become a killer in the movie? One possible explanation is the shift in medium and audience expectations. The book series, aimed at younger readers, uses the Pale Lady as a foreboding figure who serves to caution and protect, fitting the theme of eerie but moralistic tales. Her warnings align with the folklore-inspired narratives where supernatural beings often provide cryptic advice to the living. In contrast, the film adapts these stories for a broader, perhaps older audience seeking a more visceral and immediate horror experience. The transformation of the Pale Lady into a killer heightens the tension and stakes, 
making her a more direct threat. This change also reflects the cinematic need for visual and emotional impact, turning her into a more tangible and terrifying presence that embodies the physical dangers lurking in the narrative world. Thus, the evolution of the Pale Lady from a warning figure to a monstrous entity highlights the differences in storytelling techniques and audience engagement between the written and visual mediums. Moreover, the film's portrayal of the Pale Lady as a relentless and inescapable predator serves to amplify the horror elements, making her an unforgettable antagonist. This shift from a mere harbinger of doom to an active participant in the terror experienced by the characters enhances the movie's ability to captivate and frighten its viewers. The Pale Lady's transformation underscores the filmmaker's intent to create a more intense and immersive horror experience, leveraging the strengths of the visual medium to bring the fear and suspense to life. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the chilling lore of the Pale Lady and her evolution from page to screen. Exploring the transformation of this enigmatic figure has been a fascinating journey through both literature and film. Stay tuned for our next exploration into the dark and mysterious world of horror.